for the pine squirrel comment I'm going to be using uh, this hook here. This is a full mill hook. It's a competition heavyweight in black nickel. In this case, size 10. Now you can use a standard size, or you can use a bronze, which I'm using. Uh, there's a bronze version there. So whatever hook you like using. Uh, this is a tens. I say tens and twelves. You'll get in the black. On the the bronze version, you'll get down to uh, as far as I believe size 14. So uh, it goes a bit smaller. But basically, what I'm doing here, the cormorant is. If you look at it, uh, a cormorant, it's if you take away the wing anyway, it's it's a buzzer. Uh, so basically that's your favourite buzzer but tiny bit of movement in it by putting a wing on and the common wing would normally be a marabou uh, or even tips of hackle fibres uh, or in this case I'm going to be using pine squirrel now the pine squirrel I'll show you the natural the natural is this one which is it's a, it's a lovely colour and uh, you can buy it in the Sonka strips which is probably the easiest way to get it uh, or you can buy it, in this case this is black uh, what I do is I just cut lens, Zonka strip lens uh, tie it in as a wing and I'll show you how to do that further on but it's a simple fly to tie, there's the natural one uh, this is a, the yellow owl or a variant of the yellow owl there's quite a few different types, so there's a pearly body one it's a nice thing, nice and light tie much the same uh, black again, there's a few different variants of this now, this is, there's one here, it's quite a good part and I'll let you see this one this has got a fluorescent orange wire on it this, this is a good pattern it's tied very much the same as this, it's just the body colour is different than the thread now the thread I'm going to be using, this is the uni thread and 8 o in red, now I have waxed it so I'm going to come down about 3 or 4 mil so you can remove the waist, the wire rib, in this case it's UTC wire in black, this is a, a small, so the length of the wire, and then we basically tie it in the way down, it's much easier to tie it in the way down, it saves a bit of bulk as well, I'm just going to put it on the side, the thread, I'm touching turns with the thread to, I like the Slightly come by the, the point of the hook, meaning when you let the thread go, you just slightly by it. You can stop at it or you could go further, depends. Now, a lot of the sort of competition angles, especially, prefer the bend to be well open so you can catch and release. Gives you more in the hook to hold uh, and you're less likely to pull the fly apart trying to take it from the fish's mouth. Now, the body itself, in this case, it's a uh, Opal Mirage, in this case I'm using large, medium or large is ideal. So cut it into a point, starts it off much easier. So cut the cut ends at the top, so we catch this in, nice and tight, and again, you won't see the red thread, it's there for a reason, uh, it shows through the, the Opal Mirage. Now to help that, I'm going to wind it over a wee touch of super glue. Just gives it a better contact. I mean, the wire will protect the the, the body, but as I say, this will not do any harm either. As you wind up, you may see the red coming through, and that's just because of the the super glue. So I want to leave a good sort of head length, round about two and a half to three mil. Just remove the excess and bring your wire rib up through. Nice and tight, gives you a, a nice rib, and then we can tie it off nice and tight. And then, keeping the thread tight, we can bend and break away the wire. Make sure you get wax on at this point, especially. Now, I've got the this is a kind of sonka strip. I would say this is probably if you want a really sparse wing, it would go thinner than this. Uh, this is about 3 mil or so. I'm just going to tie it on the top. It's just kind of it's coming around the, the shank a wee bit. Now I do tie mini zonkers with 
the pine squirrel, so it's a great, it's, it's really good for that. Now the wing, just look at the wing you want, so I'm pulling back, and have a look, make a space, and what you can do is obviously come in there and trim. So just come in with your scissors, and then straight cut. And there we are. And that's your wing. It's easier to, the, the main reason for tying it on with the skin, you get a better taper now, you got, the wing is much far, far better, it's more natural like look, you've got a slightly tapered in the wing if you look there, so you're gonna, it's going to move far better. So to tidy that up, what I like to use in this fly, I'm going to be using this is a diamond bright. Uh, you could use seal spar, you could use whatever you like. Uh, There's a wee bit of pearl in it, so it's, it's an amber orange. And what I'm going to do is just tie it on. I'll dub it on, sorry. Just, just slide it up. And then just look at where you're tying it in. That's fine. Nice and Nice and clean, and then just before the, the last turn there, just stroke back the fibres with your fingers. Turn in front of two or three turns. You could use a tiny bit of Velcro here, just tap it with the, the Velcro and bring out one or two fibres. That's fine. And then I just bring my fingers round, bring it into the wing. Now you could use jungle cock. Or whatever you like here or in this case I'm going to be using tied orange goose bites. You could use floss as well, a good floss is this one. So this is the unifloss and neon and the orange it's, it's good. You can just tie it on the sides. So whatever you can get your hands on. Now what I'm going to do here is basically get two goose bite bites and line them up. Trim the corners off. It's hard to see here, but just basically trim them off. Make sure they're lined up. Just take the point away. Gives it a more natural type look. I say tap it with your finger like that, and this will line them up. Obviously, it gives impressions of the, the wing buds. And obviously, adds a bit of colour. So, I'm what I'm doing here is folding them down either side. Catch them in nice and tight, three or four turns. Now, before I do any, anything else, just make sure they're sitting where you want. So you can move them around still like this. If you're happy, you can tighten up even more. Now, I usually like to break off the, the bites so we can tear them away. These are quite chock. As we would say, I'm just going to trim away these the ends, just pull them back with the thread. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use it's a small piece of the dyed black pine squirrel, I'm going to use it as a dubbin. You can just pull it away from the skin, blend it within your fingers. They lightly dub it on. Pine squirrel is a great dubbing. Uh, you can buy packs of the, the pine squirrel. So what I'm going to do is just keep my fingers away a wee bit, just build up towards the goose by it. And then come back through. So I'm going up the way and heading back towards the eye with the thread. And then stroke any fibres going forward, just by your fingers. And use the thread to hold them, and then we can put finish. Straight in and put finish. Always keeping the thread nice and tight. Trim away your thread. See how things are looking. That's yeah, fine. Now you could just quite lightly come through with the Velcro. Kind of rotate the fly when you do this, and just lightly bring out some of the. The fur. And then all we have to do 
a bit of varnish into the head so brighten it up and obviously protect the tine just all the way around don't worry if you get a wee drop in the eye we can clean it out with a needle or a piece of wire or something some wire here it's very easy just to use the wire just to take it away and there we go and that's a pine squirrel cormorant uh, simple dressing you see you can mess about the colours are really easy I mean I've got different colours here blackheads, red goose pie similar body as I see this black version this is another good one the quill bodied version I should have it somewhere but there's a quill bodied version of this uh, I've got there's you can go your dinger as we say in Scotland you can, that's the one with the, the floss there just to let you see what it looks like so uh, it's a good pattern there's a good style and uh, Wing, as I see, you could reduce it a wee bit if you think that's just a wee bit heavy, but that's just nice, that's fine. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And as I say, that's a pine squirrel cormorant, simple dressing, great fun to tie. If you enjoy the videos, uh, please subscribe, uh, it does help, and thank you very much for watching.